hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video, my November bullet journal. I'm going to start off by lighting my cinnamon pumpkin muffin candle just to set the mood a little bit and get some nice scents going on. I am listening to Lovely War as I do this. It is a reread and I really wanted to give the audiobook a chance but don't worry my phone won't be there for the rest of the video. So I decided to, for my November theme, kind of brainstorm my own things. None of these um, spreads are very unique, but I did sit down and brainstorm them all rather than find and copy other ideas off of Pinterest or Instagram or anyone else's. So I did come up with everything, but it's not super unique. The theme is kind of trees leaves acorns themed uh just kind of small fall decorations without being too specific or anything like that so here on the cover page i just did a little collage of all the different elements that you will see throughout the rest of the bullet journal i did draw everything out in pencil first just because i'm not an artist so it took me a very long time to get things looking nice so I will just be going over it with my black pen and then going in and coloring in. I found that for the acorns, to get the color that I wanted, I needed to use the brown marker before I used the orange marker. And then I got that perfect in between. So my first page is my TBR page and I decided to have little tree branches coming out and be the branches that I put my TBR books on. I only did five of them. Uh, just because I don't generally like setting TBRs for myself because I'm a mood reader and I never stick to them. So I thought I'd just have a couple guiding books that are ideas rather than a bunch of books that I'm going to force myself to read without reading other books that I might prefer in the moment. I decided that I liked putting my books red right next to my TBR page so that I can continue to see what books I meant to read and what books I actually read. I like seeing them back to back, but I also like seeing um, four or five books on a TBR and then hopefully I read more than that throughout the month, which has been the trend the past month or so, but we'll see if that continues to be the trend. So for this one, it's just a big leaf that I'm going to write on the veins, the title and the author's name. And then because I felt the page was a little plain, I decided to add in some of the smaller leaves. I did not copy those leaves, but I got inspiration from the picture I have as my phone background currently with the different styles of leaves so it wouldn't be too repetitive. I've decided to keep my rankings page. While I didn't use it very much last month, I believe I'm going to start doing monthly wrap-ups if I continue to actually read a decent amount of books per month. So I think the rankings page will be helpful for November and hopefully every month after when I do start doing monthly wrap-ups so I can tell you which ones were my favorites and least favorites. For this one, I decided to go with a tree stump and have the knots within the tree be the different ranking so the smallest is one and the uh, fifth number five ranking is the biggest knot and then I decided to put five acorns on top just because it's instead of five stars five acorns Now, November is NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, and I will be participating this year. I will not have the goal of doing 50,000 words. I will set my own goal. If I decided I wanted to do a daily tracker of how much I want to, how much I ended up read, or writing, and how much per day I ended up writing. I have not been very good about being in the habit of writing every day, so this is just to try and encourage myself to get into that habit. Then after that, I just have a 
writing leaf and I set aside two pages to be very blank just as a place I can keep track of my ideas, brainstorms, and things for writing in NaNoWriMo. Next is my calendar spread, and this is always one of my favorite spreads, even if it's not my most decorated, just because it takes up the most amount of space and it looks the nicest. So I have November on a tree branch with leaves falling down, and it falls onto where I have a little side notes section. I found this to be very helpful last month, so I thought I'd include it again this month. And the calendar itself is just very simple. It's a calendar of November. And then I thought the best thing to put after that would be the readathons that I want to participate in. For example, right now is the Pokemon Thon, and I found it very helpful to have the calendar next to the readathon that I'm doing so I can actually see what days it starts and ends and can keep better track. For this one, I have my prompts, TBR, whether I completed them or not, and then there are also bonus prompts. For this readathon, this is hosted by Jane from The Bookaholic and a couple other people, but she is the channel that I know the best, so you should feel free to check that out. Then after that comes my multiple boring spreads of having brainstorm pages for each social media platform that I do. So this first one is for YouTube and then Instagram. I just use the little leaves on top of each page and color them in so that the page can be as blank as possible to have as many notes. Here is TikTok and then I added a new spread this month of coming books, books that are coming out soon that I want to keep track of or remember whether or not I'm pre-ordering them. It is just nice to know when books are coming out that I am excited for. And then here is my final brainstorm page. This is for anything else that doesn't already have a specific page, whether it's new events or ideas for next month's bullet journal or special things. Then lastly are my reviews. Here is a final flip through of all of the spreads that I did. I'm pretty satisfied with how they turned out. They're very simple, but I think very clean, which for someone who is not good at art or drawing, I'm pretty proud of myself for. There are definitely some spreads that I think were more involved than others, but I think this will be very helpful in helping me track my reading and what I would like to do. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. Comment down below what theme your spreads had if you do bullet journaling. Also, feel free to just chat with me in the comments. Follow me on all my social media, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy reading!